What is up, guys? This is Nistro here, <laughs> and uh, today we're uh, here to talk about the uh, um, printing error that uh, Konami had with uh, the, their, their new fusion monster, Sea Monster of uh, Theseus. So, um, what happened was, in, uh, with a raging tempest in uh, Europe, uh, every non-English version of the card um, pretty much ha uh, is a misprint because none of them state the fact that uh, Sea Monster of Theseus is a tuner. And so we can see here, uh, so they're showing the actual Sea Monster of Theseus, how it's supposed to look. And uh, the non-English versions, every non-English version, French, German, Italian, um, they all don't have the fact that it's a tuner. They only have the zombie part. So. Uh, what uh, Konami is going to do about that is uh, they're actually going to do something nice for the community and uh, they are going to have a callback of the card and uh, the way they're going to do this is that um, uh, they left their uh, address and uh, their mailing information here so that uh, if you wanted you could send back your copy and get a fresh new proper copy in the same language that you got it in. So, if you get one of these misprints, don't worry too much about it. And um, uh, the the best part is is that uh, they're actually gonna um, do these at a uh, YCS events as well. So, if you just happen to be at a YCS and you have one of these misprints, or you just wanna hold on to one of these misprints and uh, sell it off to someone, and then they may want to get an actual one. They can just go to a YCS. Um, which I think is very convenient, um, but uh, they they all start shipping on the 20th of February, which is which is in uh, two weeks uh, from today from uploading this video. So, uh, you know, um, I, I just think that it's uh, nice that Konami realized that uh, they made a mistake. You know, it's it's funny that. Uh, they they screw up this badly. I mean, like how like how do you screw up that badly? But it's like uh, it, it's real nice that they're having like a callback of, of uh, the misprints so that you know uh, players don't feel cheated um, into buying these sets and then having this like misprint. Um, now, uh, according to the um, to to what I've heard. Um, every single non-English print of this card um, doesn't have the tuner part on it. So um, if you happen to hold on to yours, maybe you know it might go up in the future. But this is like a common misprint, so it may not be worth that much. Um, it really all depends. But um, I guess it's just something to hold on to. I mean, you should probably just. If you, if you get your hands on one, I, I, I would probably keep it rather than uh, send it back to Konami. You know, it's, like, it's, it's, it's not something you're going to see every day. You know, uh, <laughs> Konami making misprint this badly. Um, I know they've misprinted things in the past before, but it's like something this bad is like just like crazy. But um, yeah, uh, I think that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, now regarding the actual card itself, the card isn't bad, um, I just think that it's a little overrated, or the, the way that the Konami actually uh, stated how the card would be, it would be like a new uh, fresh tech for decks, you know, we all play Insta Fusion, you know, we could replace it, um, we have more main deck space now because all we need to do is play Insta Fusion, you don't have to play uh, go cool for it, you know, you just play it, play, and if you're playing synchros in your extra deck anyway, it's, like, convenient for certain decks. Um, I think it's an alright card. Um, it does open up a lot of combos. I, I wouldn't name it the greatest card of the year, but, um, it definitely is, um, worth picking up in my book. So, um, yeah. Uh, this was Nistro here. Nistro out.